Okay, so here we are with the Royal Rumble. WWF, WWE, WCW Legends, with a couple of extra spices thrown in here, which will be interesting to see where they appear in the 32-man rumble. So let's get right into it now. We're starting off with Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig, against Bret Hart. And let's see what happens in this one. I mean, they're both two great technical wrestlers, some of the best that, you know, that uh, we've ever seen, to be honest, grace the mat. So this is going to be a fantastic bout to start with. And how much can they uh, lay into each other or hold off on each other? Maybe a more relevant thing to say until further people come down that walkway and enter the rumble. Pretty tame so far. Perfect with the slaps. Oh, he's gone for the rolled up, but no, no, far too early for that kind of thing. Hmm. Suplex. Oh, he's got a suplex, and in comes. Oh, it's Jericho. Chris Jericho coming into the ring now. Just in time. And it's another, you know, one of the greatest ever wrestlers, I think, you have to say. Uh, his technical skills in the ring and his longevity. He's been around this sport since, well, since WCW back in the mid to late 90s. And he's still going, you know, and that's, that's an incredible feat, I think. Especially when you consider the two men he's up against here. Mr. Perfect and Bret Hart have, well, both long since gone. Whether it be Bret Hart retiring or, 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 or Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig indeed um, sadly passing away in the mid 40s. But anyway, let's focus on the, the topic here. Ah, a big drop kick to the back there from Jericho, and it, here comes Bray Wyatt. Well, this is an interesting, interesting first four people in the ring here. Three of the, uh, you know, the, the the old school technical wrestlers, and then Bray Riot being one of the new, one of the new generation, shall we say? Who has, of course, uh, become the fiend these days. But you know, he's got all the skills to be a, a legendary wrestler, but I think he's a little bit. I'd say he's a little bit on the uh, overweight side, personally. Oh, and a couple of roll-ups there at the same time. That was amusing. Oh, and a big... And uh, has Jericho been uh, eliminated? No, he hasn't. He's back in again. Big atomic drop, I was about to say, from the other two there. And the Undertaker is entrant number five. Wow. Bring out the big guns early in this match. I mean, we've got some legendary fighters out there already. There are only five men into this rumble. Be suplex by Jericho on Bret Hart. A lot of action here. Oh! Undertaker with a big move on uh, Bret Hart there. And now Jericho trying to uh, strangle Wyatt, but uh, not having too much luck with it. Wyatt then with the uh, clothesline on Jericho. And go for the suplex. Oh! And perfect. has got Jericho up in a hanging vertical suplex. And in comes Matt Hardy. Well, this match. Continues to get more and more interesting. Undertaker, no he hasn't been eliminated. He, he went out but he was uh, not over the top rope so that's okay. Undertaker looking to uh, get Bray Wyatt to submit but no, I think he was too close to the ropes in all honesty. Oh and someone's been thrown out and that's uh, Mr. Perfect. I think he's gone, I think he's out. 
Oh, and a big boot by Taker on Bret Hart. Ah, and a massive power slam. But not much happened from it. In fact, everyone got up and everyone seems to be okay. A suplex uh, reversal by Undertaker there on on, uh, on Hardy. Eddie Guerrero now! The seventh entrance of the ring. And, uh, and he's looking to get involved immediately with a big spin kick to Jericho. And Jericho's gone to the top rope, but now he's come back down again. Guerrero and Matt Hardy looking to square off. Lots of action in this ring now. Difficult to keep up. Uh, Eddie Guerrero is trying to get Undertaker to submit, but that's not going to work in a Royal Rumble match. And uh, it looks like uh, Jericho may be uh, first blood in this. I think he may be bleeding on his forehead there. And a suplex from Matt Hardy on Undertaker. And a suplex again on The Undertaker, this time by Bret Hart. And Jericho trying to get Hardy to submit, but uh, again... Wrong sort of match for those kind of submission holds. And he got away from it. Suplex again on Undertaker, but going into a pin. And again from Guerrero. And going into a pin. And again! Guerrero with the three suplexes. But Taker still manages to survive. Uh, Taker's been suffering a lot here from suplexes in this match. And now! Bret Hart with the flying... I don't know, is that like a flying drop kick or... I don't know, but he's got to take it down for another pin, or at least another, um, super, oh, and Jericho's gone. Bray Wyatt with the backbreaker on Hardy. And then slapped away. And Guerrero's gone up, oh, Guerrero and Taker. Working on Matt Hardy, and Taker's been thrown out of the ring. So, four men left now, Eddie Guerrero, Matt Hardy, Bret Hart, and... Oh, and Bret Hart and uh, Bray Wyatt working nicely on Matt Hardy there. And then Bret, trying to go for the submission. No luck. Wrong kind of match, Bret, that's not going to work. Punches everywhere, and uh, well, ah, oh, Bret Hart with a big drop kick, but he completely missed Eddie Guerrero. Wyatt signaling maybe something special. Guerrero with a big suplex on Bret Hart. Now Cesaro is entrance number eight. He's coming down into the ring. It's a big, powerful man, Cesaro. Massively athletic, and uh, you know, one of the one of the greatest stars of recent WWE. But he's never really had the had the push he should have had. I think he's uh, possibly one of the most powerful men pound for pound I've ever seen. And the Edge now coming down for entrance number nine. Uh, the blood in the ring. Oh, and Eddie Guerrero's been chucked. Is he out or has he just gone under the ropes? No, he's just gone under. Oh! Looks like the. Uh, well, uh, Edge has gone to the top rope. Ah! Oh. <laughs> hey! He's going to work on Bret Hart. And Kane is coming in as number 10. This is incredible stuff now. Uh, difficult to keep up with everything what's going on. Matt Hardy with the running uh, elbow drop. Kane kicked out. Oh no, somebody was kicked out there. Sorry, I missed that. Um, ah, damn. Who, who was kicked out? Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy's gone. Ta! Poor pile driver by Kane on Guerrero. And in comes Raven now at number 11. 
Kane and Guerrero going for it as a running clothesline. Cesaro looking to lock up with Edge and throws him away. And then an eye rake. Big eye rake. Eye rake. Sorry, I can't speak properly today. Double teaming. Get Eddie Guerrero down. And a Kane and Raven. Oh, Kane wins that one. Cesaro signaling he may be up for doing something soon. Oh, and he's on to both of them. Edge and Bret Hart go down from the boots of Cesaro. Oh, and he's been thrown out. I think that's, that's Eddie Guerrero gone. Yep. Cesaro is still trying with the big boots. And the big show coming in now. Talking about the big boots of Cesaro and then the big show comes in now to uh, deal some damage to whoever and whatever he can. Throw Cesaro away and starts to try and get involved. Picks up Edge. Edge picks up Big Show. No, reverse. Oh, Edge picks up Big Show and the big suplex. That's incredible. Raven and Wyatt going at it to... Uh, Two of some of the darker people who have ever been in um, in professional wrestling, I think. Edge and Kane running together. Oh, that was interesting. Bret Hart looking like he might be starting to struggle now, but he's thrown Bret Bray Wyatt out of the ring. And that's one more out. That's one more down. And in comes Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens now coming into the ring. And uh, it's, 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 it's a lot of carnage going on right now. Oh, and Kane's off the top rope with an elbow drop onto Cesaro. And Kane's going to the top rope again. Wow, this is quite incredible. Big Show going to try to squash Edge. Uh, but moving out. But Bret Hart's been thrown out by Kevin Owens. And Kane again off the top rope on Cesaro. Kane really going to work on Cesaro here. And he throws him out. And Cesaro's gone and Kane's still in there. And there's a big suplex over the rope. And uh, Raven, no, Raven's not out. And here comes the big boss man. Raven on Big Boss Man, but Boss Man's having none of it. Elbows and got him away. Kane, though. Kane did the same and got Boss Man down. But Boss Man immediately picks up Edge and with the big slide slam gets him down. Ah, so much action here. Big Show going to work on Raven still. I just picked him up on the big slide slam. And, uh, well... The, the sound of that gong, uh, well, that indicated somebody may be knocked out, but uh, I'm not... Is it Kane? Is it... Is, is, what's going on here? I don't know, it's all a little bit... incredible. Oh! Big Show with a big slap to the face on Raven. And Big Show now kicking over both Edge and Kane. And now Kane and the Big Show pick up Raven and slams him down as Kurt Angle comes into the ring. Number 15 in this 32-man uh, Royal Rumble. Kurt Angle coming into the ring. Another big slap from Big Show on Raven. And, uh, oh, Boss Man. Oh, what's that? Didn't see that before. Not quite sure what happened there, but Angle seemed to come off the worst out of those three people. Angle with the big kicks. And Shawn Michaels coming into the ring at 16. As Edge. Uh, seems to be eliminated. Or did he just go under the ropes? He just went under. He's back in it again. Oh, this is exciting stuff. Boss Man and uh, Big Show going for it. And uh, Kane and Raven. Sorry, uh, uh, Angle and Raven, sorry. Kane. Kane and Shawn Michaels. Oh, and a double suplex. Oh, Kane and Michaels combined to get Edge over on a big suplex. Uh, 
And uh, Kane's up to the top rope and Hedge. Uh, Kane, and Kane's still on the top rope. Kane on the top rope. Kane. Oh, he's come down. And he's reversed Edge. And there he goes. The reverse slam. Big elbow off the rope from no Owens. I don't think he's off the top rope though. Oh, look at that. Oh. Edge on Kane. He couldn't get him up properly, but he's just kind of... Uh, they picked him up halfway and then got him down. And the spear! A spear from uh, John Kane. Meanwhile, Raven managed to throw uh, somebody out of the ring. Uh, it's Owens. Owens. Kevin Owens is gone. Oh! HBK slammed down by a combination. Oh! And Edge has been thrown out of the ring by Big Show. And uh, what's going on now? Kane off the ropes. Kurt Angle taking down Bossman. HBK. They're going to go to work on Angle. It's dragging him into the ring. And uh, throwing Angle away. And then locking up with Raven. And picking up Raven. And throw him out of the ring. But it was under the rope. So Raven will still be eligible. To continue in this match. Bossman's got Kane up. And a big backbreaker. And now Bossman looking as excited as Stewie Griffin on the uh, on the sofa when his favourite TV show is about to come on. And a big double suplex by Bossman and HBK on Raven. Oh, and Kane's been thrown out. And I think Kane may, may be out of it now. Oh, Kane is out of it. And in comes Freddie Mercury. The Queen frontman. Long for to be dead, but no. He's back for this one. Much like some of the other people in this ring who you thought were dead. Freddie Mercury's here. So let's see what he's going to do. Well, he gets slammed down by the big boss man. Not a great start to his wrestling career. But uh, let's see. He's locking up with the boss man. He's thrown away. Oh! And uh, I missed the pile driver there. I think that was Raven on uh, Big Show. And in comes Bam Bam Bigelow now. Freddie Mercury picked up by Kurt Angle and thrown away. And then HBK picks up Freddie Mercury and throws him away. It's not looking great for Mercury right now. And Raven's thrown out by Bam Bam Bigelow. And Mike Tyson. I'm going to pause it there. I'm going to pause it there. Okay, so get ready to unpause. Uh, unpause again as we're coming into uh, Mike Tyson coming into the ring now. And Mike Tyson. This is certainly a uh, turn up for the books. And Tyson oh, we almost went to work on Freddie Mercury immediately. But Bossman, um, Bossman's still on Mercury now. And bam, bam, Bigelow's gone to the top rope. Oh! Big shoot star press on the, the big show. I think he was on the floor there, and that's that's too many. You don't expect to be colliding in that kind of way. Angle picks up Bam Bam and throws him down, and then throws him away into the ropes. Freddie Mercury and Mike Tyson, and the big uh, big boss man. Oh, big boss man! Uh, throw threw him out, but he's back. He crawled back onto the bottom rope. And Freddie Mercury again trying to throw the boss man out. The boss man's doing some kind of uh, weird uh, signal. And here comes Big Sexy Kevin Nash. You may know him as Diesel. But he's in there and Bam Bam Bigelow has been thrown out. But no, nope, he's back. It was like, again, it was under the ropes. And Mike Tyson's in there throwing fists at anybody. Oh, and a big shoot and start press from Freddie Mercury, but it didn't land on anyone. He's gone to the top rope again, and again, <laughs> again, a big shooting star press from Mercury, uh, probably aiming for a big boss man, but missed him. Uh, Mercury's uh, somewhat out of his depth here, I think. Um, 
just elbowed out of the way by Nash and then thrown into the corner. And now he's locking up with... Uh, oh, he's picked up a chair! Where did the chair come from? I'm making it again with the shoe star press. This time, I think he lands on Bam Bam. And he's thrown the big boss man out of here. That's incredible. I'm not quite sure where that chair came from or where it's gone now. But Mercury now with the uh, the big slam on uh, Kurt Angle. And then stomps. Could Mercury be into, into something interesting here? No, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, someone's been thrown. No, two people were thrown out, but then no, they've, they've managed to get back in again. Mercury! Oh, Mercury with a big slam on Kevin Nash. That's incredible. Oh, and Nash now picks up the big show. Mercury to the top rope again and a big splash on the big show by Freddie Mercury, who then indicates to the crowd that he's going to do it again. And he's certainly uh, a showman. And again, big splash onto the big show. This is unbelievable. Oh, and look at this from Mercury. What the fucking hell is going on? He's pulled off some kind of an incredible maneuver there on the big show. I have no idea how to describe that. Um, but yes, the fight continues. And uh, uh, Tyson's still looking to throw some punches. Tyson and uh, Nash squaring up. Oh, Nash picks up. Oh, Mercury's been thrown out, but I think he was under the rope. I think he's going to be okay. Oh, Big Show with a big bomb on Bam Bam Bigelow. Buh, 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 buh. And, uh, wow, I think Mercury just landed a jab on Tyson there. And now he's looking to pick him up. And, oh, a pile driver from Mercury on Tyson. As uh, Scott Hall enters the ring now. Wow, this is quite incredible. And Tyson's gone. I think Mercury eliminated Tyson. Uh, Big Show's, I think, been in there the longest at this point. And he's doing okay. Oh, <laughs> and just as I say that, he's been thrown out of the ring. But here comes Brock Lesnar. And the Big Show wasn't thrown out of the ring. He wasn't over the top rope, so he's back in it again now. That's interesting stuff. And uh, Mercury and Nash. Oh. Kind of a quick snap there. And uh, Nash going to work on Mercury now. Meanwhile, Scott Hall and uh, Brock going to work on the Big Show too. <laughs> and talking about big men, here comes Andre the Giant. This is going to be interesting. Uh, Scott Hall and Bam Bam Bigelow go to work on the Big Show. And now, Scott Hall, oh, he had Bam Bam up for the razor's edge. He was almost about to go for it, but... Yeah, he was kicked out of it. Big Show kicked it out and uh, cancelled the sh cancelled the move. Lesnar going to work on the uh, on Nash at the top of the ring there, and here comes Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. Absolutely incredible uh, action in this match so far, and uh, Big Show's maybe finally been thrown out now. Uh, I think he may have been gone. He is gone. Jeez, uh, it's all getting a bit much. Mercury and Andre the Giant locking up, and really, there's only one winner there. Nash on uh, Brock, and Brock, uh, Brock gonna punches, punches, and big pop of pump. Scott Steiner on Mercury, and then Mercury and Andre the Giant lock up, but no, Giant wins that one hands down. Big pop of pump. Kicking down Andre and Scott Steiner, and then Mercury with a big move on Andre the Giant. And uh, but no, he's been elbow elbowed out of it. And um, this time, Mercury with the uh, he tries to go for the submission hold on the uh, Andre the Giant, who's now locked in with Bam Bam to work on Scott Hall, and Bam Bam off the top rope. I think he tried to hit Scott Steiner, but he may have hit Mercury. Ah, oh, jeez, so much going on here. Mercury has been thrown out. I think that may be it. Bam Bam Bigelow is throwing him out. Is that it? No, he didn't go over the top row. Right. That's brilliant. And here comes Dave, the animal Batista. Well, 
I haven't seen any more blood in this match since uh, I think it was. Um, was it uh, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig, or early on? Everyone else has been okay since. Freddie Mercury going for the figure four leg lock and then twisting Brock Lesnar around trying to get the submission. The submissions don't work in this. Scott Stein has been chucked out, but uh, it wasn't over the top rope. It's got Hall. Oh, Nash on Hall. Oh, the outside is really going to work on each other there, but uh, nothing really came of it. No, oh, and uh, I think Nash has just been thrown out. And then someone else was thrown out. Nash was thrown out for sure. And Scott Hall's thrown out. Both of the outsiders have gone in a matter of seconds. Mercury, though, still in there. Looking to lock up with uh, Scott Steiner. Picks him up. Oh, and a big pile driver by Mercury on Scott Steiner. That's incredible. Meanwhile, what else is going on? Bam, bam. Oh. Andre the Giant looking to dominate at this point in the match, I think. Oh, Scott Stein has been slammed down by Batista, I think it was. A little bit difficult to see with so many men at this point. Batista thrown into the corner of the ring. Brock and Bam Bam locking up and... Uh, oh, Brock nearly thrown out, but he's still in it. Mercury dragging Batista into the ring. Oh, but then he's been slammed down with a big power slam by Batista there. Oh, and Bam Bam Bigelow was just thrown out. Brock, I think. And in comes Shinsuke Nakamura. Wow. And he's in there now. And Freddie Mercury's just thrown out. Big pop a pump. Scott Steiner is out of this now. Freddie Mercury could be the longest man in this ring at this point, I feel. Well, I think he is right now, but overall, I don't even know. I'll try the giant with the big slam on Freddy. And then a big clothesline. And then here comes Earthquake. Well, this 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 match is just filling up with uh, absolutely unbelievable talent from across the ages now. Shinsuke Nakamura with the, the running kick on Andre the Giant. And uh, look at this, uh, two men going to... No. No, uh, difficult to follow exactly what's going on here. Mercury on the top rope. Hey, hey, he hadn't done that for a while. And a big splash. On two. Bam, bam, big low. But look at this. It's Goldberg. Goldberg coming into the ring. And Mercury's gone now. Mercury. He lasted a good amount of time in there. But sadly, he's gone. Goldberg. Looking to go to attack on uh, Bam Bam now. And he picks him up. He's picked him up and held him up. And then just thrown down. Mm, spear on Earthquake. And, uh, and here comes Randy Savage. The Macho Man. Oh yeah. Uh, someone's been eliminated. And it's Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam is gone. Uh, look at this. Big stretches from Andre on uh, Batista. Uh, and then the big bear hug. He's really trying to wear out Batista though. Earthquake attacking both Andre the Giant and... And uh, the Macho Man. And look at this. Batista and Goldberg going for it at the top of the screen now. That means these are two of the most powerful men that have ever been in WWE. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what comes from this. In the meantime... Earthquake with a slam on... Uh, on the Macho Man. And Triple H! Is entrant number 30. Pause it, pause it right there. <coughs> okay, get ready, get ready to unpause it in uh, three, two, one. Triple H Knight coming into the ring. Oh, and a big power slam. Sorry, suplex by, um, oh god, I can't keep up. 
Oh, and it's ha, Goldberg doing the jackhammer on Batista. And then Earthquake picks up Shinsuke and throws him down. Yeah, it's just so much power and so much just awesomeness in this ring right now. Braun Strowman! Talking about huge men and the amount of power in the ring right now and then Strowman comes in and he helps out to throw down Batista. Shinsuke Nakamura locking up Randy Savage. Triple H. Braun Strowman. Braun and the Earthquake. Whoa. Clothesline on the Earthquake. And then now he's got... Uh, he got Triple H in a uh, submission hold there, but but no chance of that working out for him. God, look at this! Oh, Batista picks up Savage and throws him down, and now Andre the Giant with the uh, torture rack on Triple H, and again, but this time on Batista. Shinsuke Nakamura. Running around, throwing off the ropes. Goldberg into the corner. And uh, Earthquake uh, rolled under the ropes, so he's back in again. Clothesline. Short clothesline by Triple H on uh, Earthquake. And then Earthquake goes for the stomps. Goldberg and Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura! Look at that, it was incredible! He's thrown into the corner. And he did like a double flip and landed on his feet and he's back in the game. Earthquake with the clothesline on Batista. Goldberg. Oh, Goldberg and Nakamura working together to throw Earthquake down onto the, the canvas. And then... Triple H. Oh, with the punches to Goldberg's head. Not much, not much, uh, oh, a double, double takedown on Nakamura though, I think it was uh, Braun and, uh, Savage, but uh, I'm not entirely certain. Uh, okay, so Nakamura off the top rope, bang, knees onto Earthquake. That's a big move. And then he throws Nakamura away. The Goldberg goes to work on, oh, Triple H. Mm, now Earthquake on Triple H. Triple H uh, suffering a fair amount of damage right now. But look at the power of the men in this ring. Goldberg, oh, he goes for the, oh, a spear! Batista with a spear on Goldberg. That's quite an incredible event. And then Nakamura with a running knee. Oh, and then Goldberg and Batista pick up Nakamura and throw him down. Meanwhile, the big atomic drop. By the giant, but but Goldberg and Nakamura. They, they're trying, uh, and, and Earthquake's gone. Earthquake's been thrown out. Nakamura, Goldberg, Batista. These three men. Oh, Andre, the giant's picked up Braun Strowman. Look at that, and that's an incredible move there. Just tossing him around on his shoulder. Nakamura and Goldberg. Oh, Go uh, Nakamura's gone. Goldberg's been thrown out. Sorry, uh, other way around. Goldberg's thrown him out. And also, Savage is gone. Wait, Nakamura's back in the ring. He wasn't thrown out of the top rope. It felt like he was, but he wasn't. And now, someone else is gone. Sorry, uh, I didn't see who it was. It's, it's Batista's gone. So there's five men left in it now. Andre the Giant, Triple H. Shinsuke Nakamura, Braun Strowman, and Goldberg. And Strowman looking to go for the running kick, but Goldberg's picked up Strowman. Goldberg with the power. Oh, and then he suplexes Triple H. Goldberg got to be a bit of a favourite right now, but the 32nd man into the ring is Jeff Hardy. Everyone forgot there was one more entrance left. And here he is, Jeff Hardy. Can he do something? 
with the rest of the men in this ring and I find it very surprising because they're all so much bigger than him. Triple H on the top rope. Oh, big uh, accidental smash from the top rope on Nakamura. Goldberg picks up Hardy and throws him away but he's under the ropes so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, in the meantime it looks like uh, someone else is gone. Sorry I missed it. I was keeping an eye on uh, Goldberg and uh, Hardy and I think um, uh, I just missed who went. Sorry. But whoever it was Oh! Super kick! Nakamura on Goldberg. And then Goldberg on Hardy. No, Hardy with the... Uh... Oh, Goldberg and Nakamura on Hardy. They work together nicely there. And then Goldberg and Hardy. Stomps. Not gonna happen. Punches. It's got him up and it's a big slam down from Hardy on Goldberg. And then, uh, look at this Andre the Giant on Braun Strowman, the two biggest men in the ring, really going to work on each other. And ah, uh, Hardy tries to throw Nakamura out of the ring, but no, no, no luck there. Goldberg and Jeff Hardy squaring it up. Goldberg almost thrown out, but no, he held on. Braun Strowman almost thrown out as well, but no, he held on too. And uh, look at this, Shinsuke Nakamura and Andre the Giant thrown into each other and they just collapsed when they hit each other. Oh! Oh, look at that, Goldberg had Hardy up for a... Uh, oh! Shinsuke Nakamura just thrown Andre the Giant out of it. Down to four. Goldberg with a running, ha, running power slam on Nakamura. Goldberg looking very strong now. Strowman probably been in there the longest. Um, but yeah, it's it's looking good for Gold, Goldberg at this point. Goldberg, oh, he's been he's been he's been suplexed by uh, Braun Strowman now. As Nakamura looks to work on Hardy, and again, and now Strowman and Gold and Goldberg's been thrown out. Goldberg's gone. Oh, and a big power slam from Hardy on. Nakamura and now Strowman looking to strangle Hardy well this match has turned into quite an event oh and he's gone Nakamura's gone and now it's down to Hardy and Strowman and if there's any guard in the world you would hope Strowman will wing this just because Hardy was the last man in Strowman to the top rope with a massive uh, well stomp off the top rope it's like the coup de gras by um uh, by Finn Balor but no and uh wow Strowman was nearly thrown over the top rope but he climbed back under it again he gets up just in time to receive a clothesline from Hardy Hardy now trying to throw him out and again he keeps it in he rolls under the rope and again and that's it Jeff Hardy wins the all-time classics Royal Rumble. And I, I feel that's somewhat of a disappointment, as he was the last man in, really. But there you go. Match evaluation 100%. It was a great match of that. There can be no doubt. Thanks for watching. See you again sometime.